Time now to tell you what else made news around the world. Time for Gravitas Global Headlines. The Kremlin says oil output cuts by Russia, Saudi Arabia and other major producers that have caused prices to soar are in the interests of global markets after Sunday's surprise decision by the OPEC+. Plus. The Philippines announces the location of four additional military bases to be used by U.S. troops, with one site near the hotly disputed South China Sea and another not far from Taiwan. $2.6 billion worth of damage caused to Ukraine's cultural sites in the war, says UNESCO. Revenue losses to culture, tourism, sports and entertainment put at $15.1 billion. The South Korean, U.S. and Japanese navies began their first anti-submarine drills in six months to boost their coordination against increasing North Korean missile threats. The threat of long industrial action is not over for the UK government. Teachers in England have rejected a pay offer and are now set to stage a strike on the 27th of April. According to the National Education Union, the offer is insulting and adding that around 98% of NEU members are in favor of turning the deal down. One month after a deadly train collision claimed the lives of 57 passengers, the first passenger train traveling on the same route recommenced. The train left Athens' main railway station with a final destination of Thessaloniki with 101 passengers on board and will make the return route on the same day with 147 passengers. Paris has voted against the use of rented e-scooters. More than 90% of voters polled against rental scooters, calling them a public safety nightmare that make sidewalks unsafe for pedestrians. Scientists have broken the world record for the deepest fish ever caught, as well as the deepest fish ever filmed on camera. A juvenile snailfish Part of the Liparidae family was filmed in August 2022 at a depth of 8,336 meters in the Isu Ugasawara Trench, beating the previous record in the Mariana Trench by 158 meters. Former world number one Daniil Medvedev beats Italy's Yannick Sinner in straight sets to win the Miami Masters for the first time in his career. The win takes Medvedev to fourth in the world rankings and he has won four titles and reached a final in his last five starts on the ATP Tour. Brooks Koepka shot a final round, three under par 68, to claim the second individual victory of his league golf career in Orlando. The four-time major champion saw off Sebastian Munoz by one stroke, but Munoz's torque GC won the team event by one stroke from Koepka's smash GC. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the updates on the move.